and welcome back to a November favourites video. I didn't really want to miss this because I've been really, really enjoying doing these kind of monthly favourites and new in products that I'm really, really loving. So I thought I'd make sure I did one for November, although it's a little bit late. But make sure you stick around until the end of the video to see what is in store for the fourth giveaway in my seven days of Christmas giveaways. So this is going to be everything I've been loving since my last favourite, so probably like six weeks worth actually. And I've got quite a bit of clothing to show you I'm quite excited about, it's usually very beauty focused. So let's just get right into it, I'll start with clothing this time. Okay, first thing I had to mention was this incredible new bag. This is from Monia Ferrez and it's a gorgeous Valentino Rockstud spike bag. On the website I wasn't sure what kind of colour of nude this would be and I'm so glad it's this more kind of very beigey toned rather than more yellow tone nude it's so perfect I absolutely adore it I saw this everywhere so many kind of as the really large fashion bloggers in the US who I really love and really inspire me a lot of those guys had this in either the nude or the black and I totally fell in love with it I didn't really have a nude bag like this so I figured this would be the perfect piece to add to my collection and I'm absolutely in love with it it also comes with a gold strap so you can wear it cross body you can also hold it with the handle which is in large handle but I often kind of hook this through and just kind of carry it underneath my arm I absolutely love it it's so beautiful and it fits in so much as well it's got quite a lot of space in here so I think this is probably going to be my most used bag over the winter I've got a few things I'm going to be wearing this with I can't wait next up if you saw my ASOS haul you'll have seen this shirt now this has just been through the wash and oh my goodness it needs the biggest iron ever but I just wanted to kind of mention it and I'll insert some clips hopefully here of me wearing this but yeah Alex picked this out and it's a beautiful blue very soft cotton shirt it's from Jack Wills so it's got a little Jack Wills label on it in fact why does it have so much on it it just needs a very very good iron I think <laughs> this is ridiculous how bad this looks anyway I just wanted to mention how much I adored this it also comes in a white if you saw my ASOS haul and it's just one of those really easy pieces to wear with so many different things like trousers wide leg trousers, jeans, you could wear it with a skirt tucked in so I just wanted to mention that I love it so much I have not stopped wearing that. Another piece I've not stopped wearing are these Stuart Weissman boots. Honestly I didn't really get the hype when everyone was buying Stuart Weissman boots I didn't really understand what the hype was all about and then I finally found this colour and thought actually they're really really nice and as soon as I put them on my legs I realised why these are so hyped and so many people love them I can't tell you just how slim they make my legs look. I mean, I know a lot of people will probably say, oh, you've got very slim legs anyway, and I don't exactly have the largest legs, but honestly, I've never felt more confident as I do wearing these because I really feel it's so slimming on the legs, especially if you wear it the way I do, which is often with long jumpers that just skim at the top of the boots, and it just makes your thighs look really lovely and slender, so they're just extremely flattering, and I think they're absolutely beautiful, they're beautifully made, and I think they're a boot that if you invest in these, you're going to have them for a very, very long time, I know I will. Another favourite, which you've probably already seen, but it's this amazing jumper dress from the Tommy Hilfiger Gigi Hadid collection. And I have the, the top in this, the jumper, and it also comes in the jumper dress. And like I said, because I'm a bit obsessed with over knee boots, I wanted more of a jumper dress style. I mean, this is molting a bit. It's one of those kind of things where you find it on your eyelashes, it's on my nose, it's on my lips. But I really love it so much i wore it this morning i had so many compliments off everybody and it's just extremely thick and wintry and wonderful i'll insert another clip actually of me already wearing this so you can see it but it's just beautiful and i managed to find this with about 40 percent off or something so it's down from 250 to 130 so i'll leave that link down below if you're interested in getting this i love it it's so thick and warm it's boiling i can't really wear it in the house because when the radiators are on i'm boiling hot in this also actually a jewelry piece i've been I ever mentioned jewellery so I'm quite excited. This bracelet, how pretty is this bracelet? I'll take it off actually so you can see a little bit easier. But it's a gorgeous bangle, it's got a hinge here so you can get into it quite easily. But it's in a thick gold material and then they have three pearls on the end. It's very, very cute. I hope you can see that. It's very cute. This is from Chloe and I got this from Monier Frères as well and I'll leave a link down below. But I just, I barely ever wear bracelets because I'm so lazy I can't ever be bothered to get them to fit on my wrist and get them all, what is the word? Fasten them onto my wrist. So this is like super easy in the morning to throw it on. The only issue is that I don't often wear gold. But I'm going to be wearing this alongside this bag. Oh, 
baby. Thank you. Alex brought me coffee. I love you. Oh, I love him. He brought me my Canada mug as well. I'm going to have to leave that because it's very hot. Yeah, so I'm going to wear it alongside this bag. So it's a bit of gold, a bit of gold. It'll be super nice. With my very last piece I'm going to mention in fashion. And it is this insanely gorgeous jumpsuit from AQAQ. Um, the amount of people that ask me, I'm going out on an evening do or a big event. Where should I buy a really amazing dress from? And I either say self-portrait as you know, or I say AQAQ because they often do the most incredible jumpsuits. I have a few of their jumpsuits now and just absolutely adore them. I feel so confident in them. So as you're watching this, I will be getting ready for, or I'll be just about ready, or I'll be having drinks at the Gleam Christmas party. So if you're not aware of anything that's going on, then maybe go to my Instagram or my Insta stories or my Snapchat. It'll all be on there, but we're at the Gleam Christmas party when you're watching this. And this is what I'm going to be wearing, so it's kind of perfect timing really that I can show you this. I love it so much. It has a mesh top in nude, white, a cut out here so there's a bit of skin on show. And then the trousers go down into a bit of a wide leg trouser with a stunning more peach silk satin stripe down each leg. So it's just like neutrals, winter whites. Because I know a lot of people will probably be in black at this party. And everyone was in white for the summer party and I was in black. So maybe I just like to do the contrast colours but I love this so I'm gonna be wearing this with this gold bracelet with this bag and probably some Jean Vito Rossi shoes actually but just so you know in case you're wondering what is Victoria wearing tonight this is what I'm wearing but AQAQ is honestly like one of my number ones when it comes to event attire okay so let's continue and carry on with uh, beauty I've got a few things in beauty and I actually have two very random things to show you as well but let's just start with beauty first up is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I have honestly heard about this so much over YouTube the past few years, the amount of people that have used this, and I was always super intrigued, but I was never really sure about cream bronzers and how easy they were to use. But I think over the years I've started using them more and more, and I actually really almost prefer them now because I find them less powdery and a little bit more dewy. I just like that kind of look. Anyway, so I gave this a try and it's actually nowhere near as frightening as I thought it would be. So if you're a little bit unsure about this and you think, oh, cream bronzers, I'm not sure. Honestly, it's just not what you think. It's so kind of hard and compacted. It's not like a mousse. It's not really liquidy. It's, you've really got to kind of work your brush over it to pick up the product. So when you apply it, it does apply almost to the point of it feels almost like a powder. It's honestly super easy to use. And I've just been using a very compacted brush on from Makeup Forever. I'll try and leave the brush down below because it's really great with this. And I just work it into my cheek hollows. So that's what I'm wearing now, as you'll see me applying it. Cheek hollows, down the side of my temples, a little bit down the side of my nose, under my chin. And I'm kind of good to go. And I just love this effect. It's so quick. I can get my bronzer done in like two minutes. Finish off my whole face really with this. It really is so good. I mean, I've been using this for so long that you can barely see. I mean, it's still got the ridges in it. This is going to last me for months and months. So yeah, honestly, massive hit. Honestly, I think this is something that a lot of people should ask for for Christmas because I really don't think you're going to be disappointed. Then moving into highlight, and there is some that I'm absolutely blown away by. I think I might have missed a bandwagon with these, but it's the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I've got a feeling that these went out of stock. I'm sure that I had a chat with the guys at Cover FX and said they were really out of stock because they are that insane. They are literally liquid drops of pearlescent pigment. They're so wonderful. I mean, you could even mix these in with foundations to add like uber glow as well, but for highlight, they're just insane. If you like the more liquid highlight, then you, I think you'll just like die over these, to be honest. I've got them on now. You'll see me applying. I just place them onto the back of my hand. I use a little brush to kind of put it onto the areas that I really want it on just to make sure it's there. Then I'll use the back of my fingers to really start dabbing it in and just to kind of reduce the intensity because it really is like full on pigment stuff and I work my fingers over it just kind of use the heat on the fingers to blend it into the cheeks and then I'll go over with another brush or I'll go over with a sponge and it just kind of makes it a little bit more realistic and you know blends it in a little bit more but the idea with these is you don't want it to look realistic you want it to look like pow super bling I mean look at my cheeks they're just shiny then glistening and I absolutely love them honestly they're fantastic this one is celestial for more of a champagne very light kind of pink pearlescent tone and this one is moonlight I picked this up the other week in Sephora and this is much more of a kind of rose goldy it's a very kind of becca champagne pop 
that kind of style rose gold champagne so they are amazing but I also discovered iconic London illuminator as well which is so similar super similar concept almost entirely the same product this one though is I think this might just be one shade that they do and it's much more kind of golden it's a little bit rose gold but a little bit more just gold copper gold and I mean I can try and just show you now on the back of my hand just how insane I mean can you see that like catching the light oh my gosh like look at that it literally looks like I've painted my hand with gold leaf it's absolutely beautiful I can't recommend these enough so perhaps if you can't find the celestial drops anywhere then the iconic London honestly is a go to oh I've lost feeling in my toes feel it in my fingers okay and I have two palette favorites this month. I usually always have a palette in here somewhere because they're just pretty awesome these days. First one being the Tartist Pro palette. Absolutely beautiful. I got my friend Rebecca who lives in Chicago, who I went to Chicago with. If you saw my Instagram, you'll have seen how I had the best time in Chicago. Honestly, it was just the best holiday ever. It was just incredible. And I asked her to buy this for me. Obviously, I paid her back, but I asked her to buy it for me for America because it's not as easy to get tart over here. And I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to get Tartist Pro. But I'll leave any links down below if I can find it for anyone in the UK but I'll also leave some US links but anyway <laughs> the actual palette looks like this it's so stunning so you've got uh, 16 different matte shadows here and you've also got four shimmers and they're such beautiful colours you've got everything to possibly need from neutrals to more kind of cranberries purples some sort of terracotta deeper tones and then some nice bright shimmery shades as well plus a humongous mirror so it's a great travel companion to have your mirror as well as all of your shadows I love having this kind of kind of thing so this to me is a really really great palette it's pigmented they're really easily blendable shades I can't really say much more than that other than it's really really great and I'm glad I've got it in my collection I love it oh my dog okay, I'm just having a break over here while I have my coffee and get rid of my pins and needles me and Alex have only just as well put the tree up we've got a cute little tree and we've put all those decorations everywhere and we're getting festive so I'm feeling really good and festive today Okay, so, and the last beauty product, the last palette, is this one from Bare Minerals. This is the Ready Eyeshadows, Bare Mineral Ready Eyeshadows. It's so stunning. This landed into my P.O. box the other day, and I always love it when Bare Minerals comes into my P.O. box, I'll be honest, because they haven't yet failed me with their recent collections and pieces that are honestly so so good and this is no difference actually this is what you get inside I mean to be honest yeah, look at it, it looks somewhat normal but it's actually full of shades that I use so often and I feel I'm gonna probably be taking this home with me for Christmas because I know I've got everything in here and it's super easy a big mirror again but you've got like a lovely shimmery kind of inner corner highlight you've got a slightly less shimmery but more creamy a little bit highlighty shade here which again is perfect for like the brown bone you've got a lovely almost rose gold champagne perfect for on your eyelid you've got some great crease shades darken it up with these a little bit more of a cranberry tone at the end some more deeper shades gorgeous gold gorgeous silver and again a more kind of lighter toned crease shade so for me this has everything that I reach for when I want to do a full eye look rather than having to go over here to get an inner corner highlight and over here to get a brow bone highlight I've kind of got everything just here honestly I'm actually finding it really hard to speak my nose is like fully blocking now yeah honestly as soon as this came in I was like love it so this is kind of my one and only right now I absolutely love it well apart from this one these two I'm going between but generally it's quite often this one I'll be honest <laughs> the joys of living on a main road is that you hear every single siren yeah so honestly highly highly recommended I think this is beautiful and I also think it would make a really gorgeous Christmas present for anyone absolutely anyone at any age actually I think my mum would love this palette I might actually think about getting their one and finally for things I'm loving <laughs> really really random but I really want to mention this this pair of scissors okay this is random for a favourites video but aren't they just the most beautiful pair of scissors you've ever seen look at this little handle in gold for anyone who loves their interiors and loves their stationery I just want to mention it because I saw these on the website and they're just so dreamy they're from a brand called Hey Italian brand they're just so pretty and listen to this noise that noise is just it just reminds me of like being a child and cutting paper in class and you know I don't know it's just really nice I love them I know it's really random but I'm excited to cut all of my Christmas paper with these because it's gonna be a joy <laughs> so I wanted to mention them because every time I look at them I'm like I really love these scissors okay I'm 
a bit weird, but never mind. And last but not least, my new beats. I never thought I'd be someone that would own a pair of beats, but I do because I'm really trying to get back into the gym and I really needed some wireless earphones. So these are what I got and they're a pair of power beats. I don't think Drake doesn't own the beats anymore, does he? I think it's Apple, isn't it? But anyway, totally love them and I got them in the white because I wanted them to go with my hair. How sad is that? I wanted them to go with my hair. And I never thought these would fit in my ears, but they actually do. They come in a few different sizes. In fact, I'm going to try them on just so you can actually see. You're just going to like wiggle them around a little bit. And then they fit in your ears. Oh, that's it. You see, they're not really big and boisterous. I'm speaking really loud now. I thought they'd really stick out of my head and make me look really strange, but they actually fit really nicely in. So obviously when I've got your hair up, they're just not too much, you know what I mean? I don't look like I've got crazy things inside my ears. Obviously I've got also, they should be at the back, by the way. <laughs> that goes at the back. But yeah, it's great, isn't it? You can just use this little thing on the side to skip through tracks, to up and down your volume. It's super easy. So yeah, it should have been that way by the way, just so you know. But yeah, totally love them. They come in a little case, just so you can carry them around. They're just dead easy. And I was looking around for a while for a good pair of like wireless earphones. I mean, I realise these are kind of upper scale wireless, but they're actually really, really good. And I'm really, really pleased with them actually. So happy, happy. And just to finish off with some things that I have in new and I haven't quite tried yet, but I'm pretty excited about, as always, with these new in bits. I just want to show you a few things, actually, that are absolutely beautiful that would make really lovely Christmas presents, too, actually. The Christmas Dior collection, the kind of festive Dior collection, has some absolutely stunning pieces. First, I mean, how gorgeous is that packaging of that nail polish? This is Dierific in Venice 001 Nova, and it's almost like a glitter top coat. I mean, it is a glitter top coat. You could wear this on your own if you want, and you could build up the colour so it's just like very glittery but over the top of colour as well it's so pretty and it just leaves these gorgeous luminescent almost like well it's very pearlescent sort of finish of glitter like some larger bits some smaller bits some sort of strands of glitter and it's so gorgeous I tried this over at a recent shellac and it just looks so glitzy and, and really beautiful I think honestly if you're looking to buy someone a nail varnish I don't think you can go around with a gorgeous glittery top coat and they've also come out with this durific matte fluid which I think is almost a bit of a velvet matte lip and this colour is stunning. What is this? 003. Yeah, it's got more of a velvety texture as well with this. More so than any of the other Dior lipsticks I've tried. But I mean, that colour is so pretty. And it's almost a bit like a more raspberry toned, a little bit lilac -y pink, you know, purpley fuchsia. Yes, I'm so excited about wearing this. I think the colour of this is so beautiful. I mean, the packaging is to die for. And also, finally, the Dior eyeshadow palette in Precious Embroidery. This is just so exquisite. The colours are perfect. They're very, very me. There's a rose gold. There's a sparkling cranberry purple. There's a white. There's a deep brown and more of a purpley brown as well. And I'll try and do a cutaway for this because the colours are so beautiful and the intricacy of the powder and the way they've done this. It looks like sequins. It's all cut into the powder. It's just amazing honestly it's incredible so yeah i think this is a massive hit and it's stunning for christmas also new in is this gorgeous nail polish from Givenchy. It looks a bit black here on camera, but actually this is purple ink number 31 and it really is a stunning violet purple, super bright. Almost looks almost a little bit neon. It's so bright. I hope you can see that. It's stunning. So I'm really excited about trying that. It's just hard because I have shellac so much, but when I do have like a little moment in between, I like to try out the ones that I love the most. And finally, I couldn't not mention the gorgeous Galan Christmas festive packaging. This is a meteorite's face powder and look at the Christmas packaging on this. It's so intricate and delicate and beautiful. And just inside, as always with the meteorites pearls, you get the gorgeous little, oh no, that's all of my bed, a little pearls inside, but it's just so pretty. If you know someone that loves, oh, smell it's palmer violets it's incredible if you know someone that loves the galan meteorites pearls and has this as their powder then you can't go wrong with the christmas limited edition packaging okay that has to be it now for november favorites and everything i've been loving recently i hope you enjoyed this guys all links will be down below for everything that i've mentioned i hope you enjoyed it and now let's get on to the giveaway okay so the giveaway giveaway four in my seven days of Christmas giveaways. It's been amazing so far, and I'm so excited to show you everything else that has yet to come up. But for today, this is what you will win if you win today's seven days of Christmas giveaways. 
So this set of prizes is kind of aimed around more pampering and just being more relaxed and having more relaxed Christmassy gifts like that. So, so me and Alex have this set of robes. They're from Christie's, they're a really soft cotton material and they are both embroidered, this is all quite different, so this is Alex's in the dark grey and he has A embroidered on his and then my one, I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you this because it has makeup all around it because I do my makeup in this every day. Mine has V embroidered on this in pink, oh, it's so dirty this. So we kind of have like his and hers matching robes, I love them, they're amazing super comfy and cosy. So I'm giving away two robes which you can have in any colour that you like, they do quite a few different colours, you don't just have to go for white or grey and you can also have them embroidered with your initials as well so obviously when I email you if you win I'll be able to ask you all of that kind of thing. But yeah so part of this prize is that you will win a set of Christie's robes. Then in this set you'll also win a few of the new Santa Pay gift sets. So we have this one, the All That Glitters is Gold bag with Nails Inc London and Saint Tropez and in here there's a little Nails Inc gold polish and also one of the the self tan luxe dry oil and also a tanning mitt as well so it's a cute little set from Saint Tropez. I'm also giving away this gift set which is the Saint Tropez Secrets of a Party Girl and inside of here you get another Nails Inc gel effect polish, a tanning mitt and also Saint Tropez wash off face and body lotion. So you get that. I'm getting so hot and sweaty because there's like a big box of the brides down here and I'm like pulling them off and getting hot in the light. And also you will win the Saint Tropez Holidays Are Coming box which in I kind of don't want to open it but let's just see what it includes in here. Oh that's the goodies in here. There's a mitt in there, there's another nails ink polish, there's a gradual in tower sh in, sh in shower tan, tan enhancing polish, there is the self tan classic and also the tan enhancing moisturiser so again another gorgeous gift set from Saint Tropez which is like my favourite tan so you get all those three prizes from Saint Tropez and I'm giving away a few gift sets from Sanctuary so the Sanctuary make a wish and let go gift set this includes loads of things here on the back cleansing burst body wash, body scrub, bath soak, body butter, hand cream, heel cream, body wash, salt scrub, detox mask. So this is like the big dog sanctuary gift set. So you'll win. You'll also win this gorgeous, I mean this gorgeous jar, I would keep pasture and this probably all sweeties. But this is a pick a treat and let go collection of top to toe goodies and again it's just got loads of gorgeous sanctuary body products in here and then also I love this set so much this is a take five and let go and it's a big big mug and it's a luxurious body butter foam and cream bath soak body scrub and bath float as well in there so they all come with this so it's kind of about pampering getting in the shower have an amazing shower getting out putting on your tan putting on your robe maybe not a white robe but there's also a few little extras that i'm going to throw in as well just because i want to make it even more amazing so we've also got a set of eos lip balms i think there's four different lip balms i thought i would throw those in too i'm also giving away an ella Masca eyeshadow palette in the shade demise which has four really beautiful creamy really blendable shadows so stunning i'll leave a link down below if you like to see the shades and finally i'm also giving away the victor and ralph bonbon limited edition christmas perfume i thought one of you guys would probably love this i have a couple of bottles of this i absolutely love it and i figured one of you might love this too so it's all about kind of pampering and enjoying yourself at Christmas this package so I hope you like it so as always I'll leave all details down below for how you can win this absolutely massive prize yeah all details down below pretty much just click the link to the blog post and it will all be explained in there so just massive good luck to everybody who enters so the winner for the fourth prize will be drawn on Sunday's video so make sure you come back for Sunday's video to find out if you have won okay so let's find out who won the prize for giveaway three which was a Burberry candle, the Burberry festive makeup collection, the Clinique cleansing face brush and also 32 makeup forever lipsticks. Hi guys okay so I'm just at the Gleam Christmas party I've been struggling to find wi-fi anywhere just found a little bit of wi-fi so hopefully I can get this up for you I'm a little bit red in the face because there's about 50 of us at the party eating Christmas dinner anyway I needed to get the giveaway winner drawn so I found out that the giveaway winner is from Italy and her name is Vittoria S that's how she's written her name Vittoria S 
So big congratulations to Victoria. I hope you like your giveaway prize. I will email you really soon to get your address so I can send it to you. And thank you so much to everyone else who entered. Good luck for my next giveaway. There's still a few more giveaways to go, so good luck for all of those. And thank you so much. Right, so that's absolutely everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. I'll leave the subscribe button on the screen now. Thank you for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.